Yoo-hoo, Miss Blue Whale. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to rock you. I'm Lulu. I'm Zuli, queen of the Shimmy Shimmy Islands. And these are my friends. <laughs> We're, um, trying to have a party, but huge waves keep splashing on us whenever we start singing and dancing. Are you the ones making that music? I'm such a big fan. I just love your song. Thanks, I wrote it. If you like it so much, why do you keep splashing us with giant waves whenever we sing? Am I splashing you? I'm sorry. Whenever I hear music, I can't help it. I just start dancing and shaking my whale tail. Wanna see? No! It's okay. No, thank you. Oh. Guess I'll just go dance somewhere else. <gasps> Wait, Lulu! You don't have to find another place to dance. Really? Really! How would you like to dance at my Royal Island party? Me? Dance at your party? Whoa, I'd love to. But how can I? If I make more waves, I'll ruin your party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you for coming to my royal floating island party. Of course. Of course. And joining us is my special guest, Lulu, the dancing and singing blue whale. Let the party begin. Hit it! I love this life on an island. You're welcome to stay a while. We'll dance on the sand as music plays. Blue Whale had a great time just being her dancing self. And my royal party was a huge splash without the splash. <laughs> and everyone lived happily ever after. Zuli, Gil, Molly, and Gobi finally found what they were looking for. A giant silverback gorilla. Stop right there! I've been studying gorillas for a long time. You're supposed to be gentle, shy, and nice. Or not. Run! Now hold on a sec. Oh! Whoa! How do we get across? Everyone grab a vine and swing! Marmoset monkey? Um, I really could use some help. Don't worry, little guy. We'll save you. Hang on. Uh. Thanks. Huh. You're welcome. But who are you? Oh, I'm Professor Puny. And this is uh, my invention. A silverback gorilla robot. A robot? Wait, you were just pretending to be a big gorilla? Did you set all those booby traps? Why'd you yeah, do all that? Did you? Yeah, why? I just wanted to scare off anyone who wanted to enter this temple. It's the only way I could protect the hidden treasure. Treasure? You mean like gold and silver? Nope. This treasure is much better. Would you like to see it? Yeah! We'd sure. love to! Um, yeah! 
Behold, the greatest treasure of the rainforest. <gasps> Mountain gorillas! And look, there's the silverback. Yep, they live here. Don't panic! The dog show will go on! But all our pooches are now pussy cats. What do we do now? Might need to buy some cat litter. Ah, the sweet sound of meows. Bubble City will soon be Kitty City. No dogs ever. Felines forever. <laughs> We've got to get Felina away from her cat ray machine. We've got a plan, but we're gonna need your help. We need to find a toy that Felina will want to play with. Cats love to play with toys that sound like bells. Which one of these toys sounds like a bell? Is it this one? This one? Or this one? One right there. Yes! Felines love to play with cat balls with bells. That should distract her. Thanks! <gasps> Is that a cat toy with bells? Yup. Go get it! <laughs> Works every time. Quick, boy! Your supersonic bark! Tonight, a very special surprise from the home of corn, milk, and all your favorite farm animals, Farmer Joe's Farm! What do you think the big surprise is? I don't know. Maybe Butterscotch had her baby. I think we're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, Pigs, horses, and chickens, please welcome Farmer Joe! Thank you! Thank you and welcome back to the farm. This is a very big night for all of us here and I know you're just as excited as I am. May I have the envelope, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Butterscotch the cow and her brand new baby! Butterscotch! Where is she? Butterscotch? Where are you, girl? We need your help to find Butterscotch. Help us moo. Ready? Moo! 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 It's Butterscotch! That didn't sound like Butterscotch. It's coming from back there. Come on, hurry! Here she is! Butterscotch had her baby! Oh, and the dog's a baby cat! Too. Hello, little calf. Moo. Hello, little. Does it have a name? <laughs> of course she does. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest member of our farm family, Puddin! Hello, Puddin. Hi, Puddin. Well, thank you for joining us here at the barn, everyone. cock a toodle It's coming from the backyard. Right, 
Snuggler. You're under arrest for taking and trying to snuggle wild elephants. <laughs> but I only wanted to snuggle them. They're so cute. They are really cute. But you can't snuggle wild animals. And they don't belong here. You have to help us return these elephants back to the wild before someone gets hurt. Okay. Wait a minute. These aren't all Asian elephants. These elephants come from different places. I might have taken a few from Africa, too. Some of these elephants belong in Asia, and some belong in Africa. We need your help to tell them apart. Asian elephants are smaller than African elephants. Which one is the Asian elephant in this herd? This one! Right. It has a small body. It's smaller than the other elephants. Elephants from Asia also have floppy ears that are smaller than African elephant ears. Which one is the Asian elephant in this herd? This one! That's right! This elephant has the small floppy ears. Thanks for your help. Let's get these elephants back where they belong. And so, the LFBI returned the Asian elephants to India and the African elephants back to Africa. The elephants are all back where they belong. <laughs> What's wrong? I just wish I had something I could snuggle with. What about this? Oh! <laughs> Good job, Agent. Ella, fantastic work. And they all lived happily ever after. It's dark in here. I can't see a thing. I found a light switch. Does it work? If we only had a flashlight. <gasps> we have something better. Buddy. Yeah, Buddy can use echolocation to find things in the dark. <laughs> Buddy will make sounds and listen for the echo. Then he'll be able to figure out what's over there. We need your help. Ready, Buddy? That looks like a party hat. That looks like a present. And that looks like a cake. A party hat, a present, and a cake. Can you tell Buddy what his surprise is? A birthday party! Surprise! 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 For he's a jolly good dolphin. For he's a jolly good dolphin. For he's a jolly good dolphin. Face in the sea. Yeah! <laughs> so that was the surprise. Look, buddy, we made a card for you. <laughs> Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday! <laughs> for he's a jolly good dolphin. The friendliest face in the sea. Quick! Let's get these back to our umbrella stand. Before the howler monkeys come back. <laughs> well, so much for our umbrellas. Yeah, let's go home. Oh, hi there. Hi. What's the matter? Well, we came all the way here to the rainforest to sell umbrellas, but some howler monkeys took them. Those were your umbrellas? Oh, silly monkeys. I'm sorry. The howler monkeys worry about me because I'm always out here in the rainforest getting wet. You could have really used one of our umbrellas. Well, I can't use an umbrella because I can't hold it. I need both hands to do my drawings. What do the howler monkeys do when it rains? 
get under some big leaves to keep them dry. Leaves to keep them dry. Hey, Gilly! That gives me an idea! We could make you a hat out of these leaves! That would be great! And we can call it the Umbrella Hat! And so, Molly and Gil made umbrella hats for everyone in the rainforest. Umbrella hats! Get your umbrella hats! Made right here in the rainforest! Here you go. Thank you. Whoa, wowzers! <laughs> They're saying thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> in the middle of a big rainforest where everything grows, it might be wet and hot, but we love our home far as the eye can see. It goes on and on, the jungle's full of life. In the amazing Amazon. We have a package for a Mr. Zebra. I'm Mr. Zebra. Here you go. From your brother at the zoo. Uh, would you mind opening it for me? Certainly, sir. Awesome. Try them on. Thanks, kid. truck so we blend in. So the delivery people quickly painted their truck. Green like the grass, brown like the dirt, and gray like the rocks. Here she comes! We'll deliver the next package. Let's go! And so, the delivery team drove all the way to India. Who's the next package for, Una? We have to paint our truck again so she won't see us. We need your help. Look at the colors of the leaves and trees around us. Which pattern should we paint on our truck to disguise it in the rainforest? This one? This one, or this one? This one! Yeah, this one. It looks just like the rainforest. And so they disguise their truck again. Here she comes! It's working. She can't see us. Hey, Molly. Did you ever wonder why they call it the rainforest? Uh-oh. She can see us! Please don't eat us! <laughs> I'm not gonna eat you. You're not? Then why are you chasing us? I'm expecting a delivery. I was hoping you had a package for me too. As a matter of fact, we do. Why, well, it's from my sister at the zoo. Well, don't just stand there getting wet. Get under here, girls. Thank you. Okay, Gilly, flashlights on three. Ready? One, two, three. We've got you this time, aliens. <laughs> Sorry, did you say aliens? Uh-huh. Are you aliens? No, we're not aliens. We're anglerfish. Anglerfish live deep in the ocean, where it's dark all the time. So dark, it's called the Midnight Zone. That's why we have these lights. <gasps> I knew something fishy was going on. Sorry to worry you all. It's just, we've been smelling those donuts all the way down in the midnight zone. Oh, yeah. So we said, girl, let's swim up to the shallows at night and get some. 
You came for our donuts? Uh-huh. But the shop closed right when we got there. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. <sighs> I guess we're gonna have to go back to the Midnight Zone without them. Not so fast. I think we could all use a little midnight snack at the Sleepy Shallow Donut Shop. Don't you think? The donut shop is open again. I can't find my pig anywhere. Let's go to the animal caller and see if she can help. Hi there, and hello to you, farmer. Hello. I lost my pig. Can you help me call him? Sure I can. They don't call me the animal caller for nothing. You said a pig, right? Mm-hmm. A pig. Hello. Uh, bok, 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 bok. <laughs> He hung up. I don't think he understood you. Does a pig say, bok, bok, bok? No. Well, what sound does a pig make? Oink, oink, oink. I'll try again. Hello? Hang on a moment, please. Help me call the pig. Say, oink, oink, oink. Okay, piggy. See you in a minute. Oink, oink, oink. Piggy! Thanks, animal caller. Just doing my job, ma'am. Come on, piggy. Oink, oink. Hello, farmer number two. Hello. Is there an animal I can call for you? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm trying to find my horse. Can you call him for me? A horse? Of course! <laughs> that rhymes. It's ringing. Uh, yes. Moo, 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 moo. <laughs> Rude. Does a horse say moo, moo, moo? You're right. What sound does a horse make? Nay! I'll try again. Hello? Hang on a moment, please. Help me call the horse. Say, nay! <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. Thanks, Animal Caller. My pleasure. Let's sing about baby animals.
Here we are! This is where Bubble Kitty's owner lives. She said that we could find her here. yo -ho! Hey, look! I'm up here! Ah! Here I am, Bubble Kitty! I'll be right down! Ah! <gasps> We have to help her before she falls. Come on, everybody. Follow that cat. something to pull her up. Hey, guys? What about this? It's a big ball of yarn. Well, that's convenient. We can use this to pull her up. Here it comes. Grab on. Got it. Come on, everyone. Pull. <laughs> Kitty wants to thank your puppy. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing way up here? Oh, you want to see? I was working on this. Presenting some of the greatest cats in the world. The leopard. Wow. The lion. Whoa. That's so cool. The tiger. Whoa. Whoa. And my favorite cat of all. It's Bubble Kitty! Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Meowt Rushmore! <laughs> well, Mr. Grouper, as you can see, there are 30 seconds on the big clock, and each elephant has only one chance to get the ball through the hoop to score a point. And if they miss the shot, then they're out of the game! Hey, Chris! Yes, Mr. Grouper? What time is it? It's time for the Trumpet Dog! Come on, everybody, let me hear you chant. Put your hands up for the elephants! That is number 11, dribbling down the court. He's flying for the dog. Oh. No score for the trunks! Go, trunks! She dribbles down the lane. She shoots and... Oh, no! Come on, elephants, you can do it! Looks like it's number four's turn. That's Pinochle's mommy! Whoa! She's gonna try to make it from the opposite end of the court. Whoa! She shoots and... Oh. Misses! Still 15 seconds left on the clock, but no more elephants to make a shot! That's too bad. Wait a minute. It looks like it might not be over for the trunks just yet. Me? You want me to help you? <laughs> yeah, Gil, yeah, go for it! Hurry, Gil! 15, 14, 13... Ready, Pea Knuckle? <laughs> go for it! Gil and Pea Knuckle are going for the home! Time to eat, piggies. 
Just as the pigs were about to eat... <laughs> hey, Cerberus! Yes. Let's get out of here! That was close. We'd better hurry up with our chores before Cerberus comes back. Old McNani had some horses. E -yo, e -yo, e -yo. Here you go, horsies. Some fresh hay for you to eat. Just as the horses were about to eat... Cerberus! That was really close. We better finish our chores fast. All we have to do now is feed the chickens. Here are the chicken feed bags. The numbers on these bags tell us how many chickens they can feed. Let's start with four. Cerberus! Quick! We need your help to feed the rest of the chickens. We fed four chickens. How many more chickens do we need to feed? Three more! Three! Right! That means we need to use bag number three. Here you go, chickens! But just then... Cerberus! Help us! Oh, McNani! Let us in! What's all the racket about? Cerberus is trying to get us. Huh? We don't want to get you. We just want some food. Yeah. Well, we've got some dog food right here. You can have it, Cerberus. But you have to help out on the farm. You're pretty good at barking. You could be a watchdog. Okay, cool. Yeah. Old McNaughty fed his farm. E -I -E -I -O. I love kitties. Let's sing about them. I've got a cat that loves to purr. When I pat her, she's got orange fur. And truth be told, she's kind of fat. Her paws are white, look a little like mittens. The same thing's true about each of her kittens. That mouse better not get squeaky She likes things clean Likes to lick her paws to primp and preen Yeah, yeah I'm treated Then there are big cats which aren't so tame Leopards and lions are there more you can name Jaguars and tigers and cheetahs so fast Get in a race and you're sure to be wants to play. Come with me. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. I'm looking for a place for my big cat to play. Well, you've certainly come to the perfect place. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jungle Gym Dandy, the place for cats to play. Is that a... Uh, he's a black leopard. A leopard? But where are his spots? Black leopards have spots, but they're really hard to see. Let's build him a jungle gym. Okay, here's the plan for the leopard's jungle gym. 
We just have to put the pieces in place. What does your black leopard like to do? He likes to play hide and seek. <laughs> Let's give him a good hiding place shaped like this. Let's see. This is a cube. It fits for the hiding place. Cool. He also likes to scratch a lot. Okay, let's find something for him to scratch. I need your help. Here is the scratching post. Which shape will fit here? The one shaped like a cone? Or the one shaped like a cylinder? That one, the cylinder. The cylinder, right. Let's put another piece on top with the flag. <laughs> Another cat is my customer. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! And there they go! The frogs and their runners are leaving the frog egg area. This way, Fernando. to Tadpole Plaza. Woo! Come on, Fernando! Go, go, go! This way! Woohoo! Yeah! All oh, right! Come on, Fernando, you're almost home! It looks like Fernando sees something he wants to eat. Uh-oh! That's the wrong way! Fernando, wait! Oh, no! It looks like Fernando and his runners are going the wrong way. Fernando, wait! Fernando, you're going the wrong way. Don't you want to finish the race? Okay, let's go. Oh, thank goodness they're back on track. But these streets can be very confusing. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. We need to get to the pond. We need your help. Which sign will show us the way to Fernando's home? That one, that one, or that one? That one, it goes to the pond. Right. Come on, Fernando! And it looks like all the frogs have made it back to their home in the pond. Except Fernando. Oh no! Fernando didn't make it! There they are! Ladies and gentlemen, here they come at last! Fernando and his runners! All right. yeah. Bye, Fernando. We'll miss you. to go outside today. Outside? outside? But your majesty, it isn't safe for you to go outside. There's a chance that you could be eaten. Eaten? Nonsense! I command you, take me outside! Yes, yes your, your majesty. majesty. So the ants took their queen through the tunnels all the way up to the outside. <laughs> oh, it's nice outside. Look at all the lovely fruit! Ants are strong, by the way. We should go back down, Your Majesty. Yeah, we should go. What's the hurry, boys? We would hate for you to get eaten, Your Majesty. Eaten? Who in the world would want to eat an ant? Yum, yum. Ant eater! 
Uh oh. That was a close one. What's that? It's the anteater's tongue. Run! So the queen and her ants ran away from the anteater's tongue as fast as they could. This way, your majesty. We'll be safe if we can get to the secret exit. Secret exit? Oh, how fancy. Come on. The tunnel splits into lots of other tunnels, and most of the tunnels are dead ends. Which means they don't go any farther. But one of them goes all the way to the secret exit. We start here and finish there. We need your help to find the tunnel that keeps going. Which tunnel keeps going? This one or this one? This one! Right, this one. Come on! The ants ran through the tunnel as fast as they could. But before long... Uh-oh, another split! <laughs> Hurry! Which of these tunnels keeps going? This one or this one? This one! Right, this one. Let's go. Oh no, not again! Which tunnel goes to the secret exit? This one! Run! That was close. We need to find a lost tiger cub before the cat burglar shows up again. Tigers live in India. Let's go! So the cat herders went to India to find the missing tiger cub. Hmm, I wonder where we should look for the tiger cub. Well, tigers like to swim. Look, the tiger cub. Let's get you back to the reserve. Here you go, cub. When suddenly... Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Cat burglar! Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. So the cat herders got away by driving all the way to Peru. We need to find the last cub before the cat burglar catches up with us. The last cub is a jaguar cub. Hey, jaguars live in Peru. We're already here. That worked out nicely. I just heard him. We need your help to find the jaguar cub. Jaguars like to climb. Should we look for the jaguar cub by the lake, in the meadow, or in the jungle? In the jungle! Yeah, there are lots of trees for the jaguar to climb in the jungle. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh no, the cat burglar is coming. Let's go. Okay, little jaguar cub. I got you. Nice work, Una. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh no! We're trapped! What are we gonna do? Yeah, kitty. Aw, oh, listen to his little roar. It's your daddy, little lion cub. Most birds can fly, but there are some who can't, like an ostrich and a... Penguin. A penguin, right. And instead of flying through the air, a penguin can swim really fast in cold... Water. Yup. Other birds, like ostriches, get around by running on their... That's right, legs. 
I still wish I was a bird so I could fly, swim, and run. Tweet, tweet. And that's bird talk for Let's Sing About It. Who wrote the rule that said a thing with feathers absolutely has to fly? Why? Why must they fly? Some creatures have two wings that flap, but you won't find them up there in the sky. Try, try, try. They're not up there in the sky. Gravity, they don't defy. They'll never soar, won't even try. Whoa. Have you heard? Have you heard? About the flightless bird. About the flightless bird. With wings that flap, they've been supplied. But after that, things went all right. Well, have you heard? Have you heard? About the flightless bird. About the flightless bird. They're quite content. They're on the ground. To see them, don't look up, look down. Ostrich, kiwi, penguin, emu. They all can't fly. Let's play a little kazoo. are fast as lightning. Did they fly? Who, us? Too frightening. Say the emu from Australia and the great New Zealand kiwi. Some birds were born to fly, but I just gotta be me. We won't cry, we won't frown, we're happy right here on the ground. Gravity, we won't defy, we'll never soar, won't even try. Whoa! Have you heard, have you heard, about the flightless bird, about the flightless bird? With wings that flap, they've been supplied, but after that, things went all right. Well, can't fly. Neither can you. Hello there. Come with me to the Habitat Hotel. Good day, madam. May I help you? Yes, please. My friend the gorilla is really sleepy and needs to take a nap. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. <laughs> Oh boy, he does look sleepy. I'll show you to your room. Here are two very nice rooms. My gorilla likes to sleep in a nest under green leafy trees in the forest. Which one of these rooms would my gorilla like to take a nap in? This one or that one? That one! Right. This room has leafy green trees, just like a forest. Hmm. Have a nice nap. Thank you. Hello, sirs. May I help you? My emperor penguin needs a place to take a bath. Why, certainly. Follow me, please. And here we are. Here are two very nice rooms with water. I need your help. Which one of these rooms is called an icy? This one or that one? That one! Yeah. This room is icy cold. Just like Antarctica where Emperor Penguins live. Enjoy your bath, Emperor. You're welcome. <laughs> when suddenly, a very big monkey appeared. Big monkey! <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the island, Islander Gobi found a mast. I can use one of these long bamboo stalks to make a mast to hold the sail up. When suddenly... Big monkey! <laughs> and on another part of the island... I can use one of these big leaves to make a sail. But before she could get one... Big Monkey! <laughs> there's a... there's a... I know! I saw two, and I didn't get the sail! We have to build our boat and get out of here before that monkey gets here. We have to find a leaf, quick! We need your help. This shape has three sides. That means it's a triangle. We need to find a leaf shape just like this. Which one of these leaves has the same sides that we need for our sail? This one, this one, or this one? That one! Right! This 
triangle has the right kinds of size that we need. And so, they built their sailboat as fast as they could. Let's get out of here. Big, big monkeys! monkeys! Three big monkeys! Oh, we made it. And the wind's pushing our sailboat back toward home. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. Me too. Why are you guys crying? We want to know in a boat too. Well then, why didn't you say so? <laughs> and so, the monkeys and the islanders became good friends. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. Pandas are really cute bears. Come on! Ni hao. That's how you say hello in Chinese. Now, what can I do for you? I'm taking this baby panda home to her mommy. Well, she's certainly gone to the right place. Welcome to Pandemonium. And who's this little one? Her name is Lee, and it's time for her to go home to her mommy. No problemo! China, here we come! You see, China is a place in the world, and it's right here. But I don't see Lee's mommy. Mm. Hmm, neither do I. But don't worry, China has big cities, deserts, and China even has bamboo forests. Wow! China has lots of different looking places in it. Yup, and I'm sure we'll be able to find Lee's mommy in one of them. But which one? Hmm, we need your help. Pandas eat bamboo. Where will Lee find her panda mom? The city, the desert, or the bamboo forest? Yeah! There's lots of bamboo there for pandas to eat. So that's where we'll find Lee's mommy. Ah, here we are. The bamboo forests of China. Do you see your mommy anywhere, Lee? <laughs> Lee doesn't see her mommy yet. We need your help to find her. When you see a panda, say, Panda! Right there! That's Lee's mommy! <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Thanks for helping me find her mommy. You're welcome. And thank you for your help. Excuse me, what time is it? It's time for lunch! 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 It's lunch time! Hey, what's for lunch? Hey, Gil, what did you get for lunch today? I got chicken soup and a sandwich for lunch. What did you get, Gobi? Yum! I got carrot sticks and a sandwich. What'd you get, Nani? I got carrot sticks and a... panda witch? Ni hao. <laughs> I think I know who Monty can be friends with. You do? Who? A bird. That's a great idea, Gil. A bird. We saw a picture of a rhino with the bird on its back. We've got a lot of birds here at the zoo. We just have to find the right one for Monty. It's time to find a friend for Monty. From the rhinoceros enclosure right here at the zoo, here's your host, Zookeeper Joe. and welcome to the zoo. Okay, Monty, let's meet the contestants. Here they are. Our first bird lives where it's really cold and there's lots of ice and snow. Please say hello to a penguin. 
Now our next bird lives high up in the trees of the tropical forest. Let's meet a macaw. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is a little fellow who likes to live in the warm grasslands. Please welcome the tick bird. <laughs> One of these birds is going to make a great friend for you, Monty. Mm -hmm. But we're going to need your help. Which one of these birds lives in the same habitat as a rhinoceros? Is it the penguin, the parrot, or the tick bird? The tick bird! That's right! The tick bird! Monty, say hello to your new friend. Thanks to you, I don't think Monty's going to be lonely anymore. And thank you for helping us find the right friend for Monty. Look, Middle Chick, there's your mama. There you go. See you tomorrow, Middle Chick. We better bring Big Chick back to her daddy before that leopard seal comes back. Let's go to Emperor Beach. Here we are, Emperor Beach, where the Emperor Penguins live. Look at all those penguins. How are we ever going to find Big Chick's daddy? Well, penguins make special sounds to call each other. Each mommy and daddy know their penguin chicks call the best. So. We just need to match Big Chick's call to the right daddy. Okay, Big Chick, start squawking. We need your help. Big Chick squawks four times in a row. Which one of these daddy penguins also squawks four times? Let's listen to this penguin. Was that enough? Three. That wasn't enough. Let's listen to this penguin. Was that enough? Yeah, he called four times. Let's see if he recognizes Big Chick's call. Yeah, he's Big Chick's daddy. Hi, Mr. Emperor Penguin. Here's your chick. <laughs> Leopard seal! Enough is enough! You're not gonna eat this penguin chick. Eat her? Well, I don't wanna eat that cute little penguin chick. You don't? Then why were you chasing us? I need a babysitter for my baby. We'd love to babysit your pup. Pup? Yeah, baby seals are called pups. What's up, pup? I think it's time for the bubble duckies to come in for a landing. Oh no, they're flying right into a storm cloud. They're going to get lost. Molly, we have to help them. Come on. Come on, Beep. We have to rescue your family. This is Tower. You are cleared for takeoff. Be careful, guys. Roger, Tower. Where did they go? I don't see them. Fly higher. Ah. They've got to be in one of those clouds. Molly to Tower. Come in, please. Over. Go ahead, Molly. Mr. Grouper, we can't find them. They're lost. It 
it looks like there's a formation of bubble duckies in the largest of the three storm clouds. I repeat, the largest storm cloud. We need your help to find Beep's family. Which cloud is the largest one? This one. Right, that one. channel for new videos every week and watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.